Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. And what we're going to make are coconut cookies. You know, someone re uh, recently wrote to me and said that they really like to see more recipes with coconut. So I do have several uh, coconut cookie uh, recipes. I mean, I have one, one uh, that are um, crispy, <laughs> uh, the chewy type. Um, I have these today. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure how many, but I think they're all very good if you give any of them a, um, a try. What I like about this recipe is that there's no eggs. So there are some so, uh, folks that can't eat eggs um, that are allergic or whatever. So I think that recipe is great for that. And there's really actually one, two, three, four, five ingredients it's the only thing that you're putting in now i'm going to give you um the amounts to uh of all the ingredients to make the recipe i no longer print them out below the video anymore so sorry about that but i try to go through it slowly enough and clearly enough that if you want to jot it down to give this recipe a try you're able to do that Okay, what you want to do is you want to start off with a half a cup of butter. I went ahead and I cut it up into small pieces because I think it's easier to break it up and to cream it. Now, if for some reason you don't have butter or you prefer not if even buying butter, you can use margarine. And this recipe comes out really good with either one so it's up to you butter or margarine i've got the butter cut up and i'm just gonna put that in my mixer now you can uh, do this with your hand mixer uh, i like to use my stand because i think it's quicker for the video but um, i'm just going to turn on the mixer and uh, cream that it only take a couple seconds uh, i want to warn you about the sound some people uh, have commented so uh, warn you about the sound of the mixer all right the next thing that we're going to be putting in is two tablespoons of powdered sugar and Beat that in with your butter or margarine. Now, it shouldn't take you long at all. The only thing with this recipe is stay with it because you almost want it to come together like it'll come like a soft crumb. And then from you beating it longer, it'll form the cookie dough consistency. The next thing that you're going to be putting in is a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And again, just turn it on. So you bring it together. I'm just going to take my spatula to get to the bottom of my mixing bowl here. Turn on the mixer for another second or two here. Beat this as long as it takes, you know, to combine everything. And it really depends on your speed or that kind of thing, you know. Now, the next thing that you're going to put in slowly is one cup of all-purpose flour. And this is when it becomes where you think you've done something wrong and you've missed something or whatever, but it isn't. It's all going to come together. Okay, now at this stage, I want to show you, it starts to, you know, come together that crumb-like te uh, texture, kind of ragged bits. But just stay with it and put a little in at a time. It's going to look more like a crumb, like this, but just stay with it. Now I'm going to turn up my speed so it starts to really bring it together to form that cookie dough. Alright, now I'm just going to 
going again, just cleaning the sides, getting to the bottom of my mixing bowl, okay? Now, it's still in that crumb, um, you know, looks like dried crumbs, but it is sticking together. You can see as I push it together, it's forming a dough. And the last thing, of course, you're going to need coconut. Now you're going to need two-thirds cup of sweetened coconut, dried coconut. And what I like to do is I put it on a, um, you know, on a piece of uh, wax paper or uh, plastic wrap, and I just go through with my knife to just kind of cut it a little bit finer. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be real small pieces, but I just go through with my knife a little bit just to take that two-thirds of a cup and then just put this in there and mix it. Now, this is when it's really going to start to come together to make a cookie ball. So, raise your speed a little bit and you'll see it come together. take out my paddle, take off my excess here, and then set it aside. And then just go to the bottom and my sides and bring it all together. And there you go. You see you have your, your, your cookie dough, your cookie ball, okay? It will come together. I know it might look like it isn't, but it will. It really will, okay? Now, you're going to need a cookie tray or a cookie sheet. You won't have to grease it or spray it. Go ahead and use your parchment paper if you want. I'm using my small scoop. If you don't have a small scoop, go ahead and use a tablespoon uh, for about the size of the cookie. I like to make them uh, with the cookie scoop because I like that rounded top that it it uh, it uh, it gives. Now, give it about two inches apart. They are going to spread a little bit, but you know, not where you have to worry about it. So, but give them a little bit of space. Now, I generally get about two dozens. I get about 24 of these cookies. Now, you're going to bake them at 350 degrees, and they're going to take you anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes. So, you know, I would suggest to start watching them. I actually start watching mine at about 12 minutes or so. You know, our ovens, they set up so differently. Uh, so you don't want to, you know, overbake these. You don't want to burn them, uh, that kind of thing, or dry them out too much because you want that coconut to stay very, uh, a bit moist um, and chewy. So you don't want to dry it out too much, okay? So you get the idea. Just space them 350 uh, and it's anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes. I'm going to just rinse my hands here quickly. So I'd like to show you what it, they look like, the finished product. And this is how they'll turn out. And as I mentioned, I do get two dozens out of this size. If you want to make them bigger, of course you're going to get less. But watch your timing. It's going to probably be a little bit more than what mine uh, did today uh, when they came up. Now, when they do bake up, they will have a hard finish on the top and on the bottom. What you're looking for is a nice golden brown. They're not going to brown too much onto the top, and you really don't want them because that's going to really dry them out. If you uh, decide that that's what you want to do, of course, that's going to be up to you. Uh, but the lighter the color, I find uh, it tends to be, um, well, not as, not as dry. Now, let's just break open one of these. When you do break them open, they will have a chewy center to them. Um, and but they're they really will melt in your mouth. They're very light. The crumb in the cookie just literally, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it just kind of 
falls apart in your hands. It's a, a very delicate cookie. Um, it's um, not an overly sweet cookie, uh, but really these are just great little bite size uh, uh, cookie uh, treats for, for people, especially if you like coconut, okay? Now, I always say to uh, everybody, if you try this recipe and you like it, well, let me hear from you because I'd like to hear from you. But I do want to suggest you to solely watch me on YouTube and write your questions or comments on YouTube because I'm going to be able to answer you in a timely fashion. Um, the reason I don't put the ingredients anymore, the recipe, is because of so many people um, pinning my work, claiming it theirs, posting it, putting it, and it's been so frustrating to see it and that you write a question, you have a comment, and I can't answer it. But if you watch me on YouTube, you write your question or comment on YouTube, I'm going to get it. And I, uh, and then I'll be able to um, answer you. Uh, so I want to thank you for watching. Diane, love to bake on YouTube. If you're so inclined and you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Or even give the video a like. That would be fantastic. So, thanks for watching. Diane loved to bake. Give these little coconut cookie a try. I think you're going to like them. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.